This holiday season, I want you to think of revolutionary biotech companies with broad pipelines as the gifts that keep on giving, even if oil's coming down in price. Take longtime Kramer Faith, Isis Pharmaceuticals, the company that's been a pioneer in so-called anti-sense technology, which works by binding to the RNA in a person's cells, allowing the company's drugs to basically control the expression that persons, uh, of a person's genes. And that's a terrific way to treat various nasty and hurted genetic disorders. And I've repeatedly recommended Isis because this company has so many shots on goal. It's almost insane. They have one drug on the market, Kynamro, for genetic disease that causes super high cholesterol. But the key here is the pipeline. They got 31 drugs in development, many of which treat the kind of rare orphan diseases that can be incredibly lucrative. I've told you about many of them before. Companies phase three drug for TTR amyloidosis, uh, the phase three treatment for spinal muscular atrophy, leading cause of infantile death worldwide, potentially a huge blockbuster, the cancer treatments, the intriguing diabetes formulations. But geez, you know what? This may be nothing compared to this one. This Sunday at the big American Society of, of Hematology Conference, or ASH, ISIS reported some tremendous phase two data on the anticoagulant drug it's studying for the prevention of venous thrombosis, medical speak for blood clots, within a blood vessel in patients undergoing knee surgery. But believe me, I think there'll be much bigger uses than that. These results were much better than expected, including a sevenfold reduction in the incidence of venous thrombosis events. And this drug could be potentially a major player in the anticoagulant uh, field. So it's no wonder that ISIS stock has been roaring all week, including a 5% gain today. Now, we last spoke to ISIS's CEO on October 1st. And since then, the stock has rallied more than 56%. I pushed it hard. You know that. It's an epic gain, short period of time. However, I trust this company to keep delivering. It's just got so many shots in gold. Take, don't take it from me. Let's check in with Dr. Stanley Crook, the founder, chairman, and CEO of Isis Pharmaceuticals. Learn more about his company's prospects. Dr. Crook, welcome back to May of Money. Uh, great to be back. All right, Dr. Crook, I got to tell you, uh, your company is amazing, but it, just tell me, does, could this really be, could this new drug, the anticoagulant, could it really produce an antithrombotic effect without an unacceptable risk of bleeding? Because most people who take the current drugs, they can bleed out so quickly if they hurt themselves. I think we've proven that, actually. And I think the importance of what we've accomplished is attested to by the fact that it was a simultaneous pres uh, presentation at ASH and a New England Journal publication. Uh, I, I think what we did in, in this clinical experiment was it, we applied the acid test that's been used early in development for essentially all new antithrombotics. And that's uh, give the drug to patients who are undergoing total knee replacement. The reason it's an acid test is these patients have a dual problem. They have a high propensity toward having uh, blood clots, and they bleed a lot. And, and, and here are the remarkable observations. First of all, we produced a sevenfold lower uh, incidence of these clots compared to the standard of care. That's, that's amazing, and no, no drug has ever been able to produce a 4% incidence of, of blood clots. Second, we pre-treated these patients, and so they were fully anticoagulated with the factor 11 RX during surgery. Right. And they didn't bleed during surgery or after surgery to any greater degree uh, than, than if they had got not, not gotten the drug. And so we have a, a drug that appears to be able to separate blocking clots from causing bleeding. And, and, and so that's a tremendously exciting um, uh, advance. And the commercial potential is just enormous. Well, for having, having had a relative where we had to make the choice between Coumadin and Warfarin and uh, Pradaxa and these others, we knew that they were both imperfect. We couldn't monitor them. We had no idea. And yet, this is you're talking about treating a disorder that could be that is the underlying cause of heart attacks, strokes, and pulmonary embolism. These are the leading causes of death. I mean, it, could this not be one day used by millions of people? Yes, it certainly could. Now, remember that it's administered subcutaneously once a week or maybe less frequently, and it has a slow onset, so it wouldn't be used in acute settings such as in a heart attack. But what it would be used in is the millions of people who, who are trying to prevent second events, trying right. to prevent a second blood clot or a second heart attack. And there, I think, the opportunity for the drug is just, uh, just thrilling. Now, I mean, this, the work that you've done is definitely superior to Coumadin, right? Definitely superior. And could be superior to all these fancy drugs, the Elquist and Pradoxa, that they're out there right now? Oh, I think we've already shown that in but this acid test. No, no drug has ever achieved this. And we, we, we treated these patients, we anticoagulated them before and during surgery, and they had no extra bleeding. 
That's that you would never even dream of trying that. In fact, you know, when you're on one of these other drugs, one of the real problems is if you go have a medical or surgical procedure where you might have bleeding, you have to be weaned off them and that in exposes you to greater risk and so on. Uh, so I think we know a lot about this drug already, and it's all, all good. Well, Dr. Dr. Every, every time you come on, it's pretty staggering. This is so, this is much, I understand how this stock could be up very big on a very bad day. Doc, Dr. Stanley Crook, founder, chairman, CEO of Isis Pharmaceuticals. Congratulations again on just another home run. Great to see you, sir. Thanks. Look, I don't want to overstate it because it's uh, phase two, but uh, this is, uh, it's phenomenal. What can I tell you? It's phenomenal. If it works the way we just described it, and he's clearly said it does, uh, ISIS is going higher. Man, money's back into the break.